Chris, how are you doing? How is his level? I'm uh, very good. Okay. Alex, level is good? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Chris, you're with uh, Comron and Jason. You have a question for us. I do. Go I ahead. Do. Thanks a lot for having me on. Of course. You've been listening to the show for a while? I've been listening not that long, actually. About, uh, I think it's been about four episodes. Gary V was the first one I saw. Okay, so you've been around I'm for a month. Addict, so. Good. You have work to do. you got a lot of episodes to go back. you got about 24 <laughs> episodes to listen to. I know I, I've got them all downloaded, but uh, I have not listened to them all yet. They, they will they will be on on the on the the next uh, few weeks. I'll have them all. So uh, how do you listen to them? You listen to them when you're like playing poker or going running or at your computer when you're working. How do you listen to the show? I uh, I do it all on my iPod when I'm in the car. Ah, uh, good. I, I'm in I'm in sales, so I'm in the car a lot, driving from customer to customer or mm. prospect to prospect, and. Uh, and basically, my uh, my iPod is uh, right. the lifeline. You just take that iPod it's Touch, you reason. put it right on the dashboard so you can watch the video clearly when you're driving around, and you just hold the <laughs> iPod with one hand and watch the video. That's that's how <laughs> you know I watch what? the show. That's a good idea. <laughs> no, don't do that, please. Uh, so tell us your question. So my question is, I've got I've got my big idea, and uh, and I'm trying to. Um, I'm in the very beginning stages of getting in touch with um, some VC um, firms or angel investors. And so I'm looking at the website, trying to figure out the best strategy to do this. And I would say most all the websites say, first step is email us your business plan. Um, that's the first step. And, and being that I'm a salesperson, I have a very hard time with just shooting off my business plan and hoping yep. to hear I'm... My, my plan that I, I'm doing now, my question is if this is good or bad, is I've made a list of all of the VC firms and angel investors in my area, and I have their phone numbers, and I'm researching contacts there, and I'm going for them like I'm selling them you know, a product. I'm, I'm going to call them, uh, find out who's important there, and uh, get in touch with those people specifically, You know, try to take them to lunch, yeah. um, something like that, and okay. not, not following their process. Okay, so... Um that is a bad idea, uh, and it's almost as your idea is almost as bad as the idea they tell you to do on their website, which is send you the business plan. Uh, all the business plans that get sent to these VC firms, I'm speaking in general generalities here, get put into a folder, and probably don't get looked at because they get so many of them. Maybe they'll they'll browse through them, but you're correct in saying this doesn't seem like the right way to do it. Calling makes you seem like you're psychotic and like overzealous. And you're going to make people really nervous because they're like, I want to go to lunch with you, and I'll buy you lunch. And they're like, I, I'm a venture capitalist. I really don't need you to buy me lunch. And they like to do like 20-minute things. So what is the other way to do it um, And if you're not in the network? Well, what you have to do is you have to do your research. You have to do your due diligence on each of these investors. Who are the companies they've invested in? Who are the people who worked at those companies? Who are the people who are the, maybe the, you know, the managers at those companies? Maybe not necessarily the CEO. Uh, what are, who are the companies who are similar to yours? So if you're doing something in you know, content, um, like Cameron is doing, if you're doing something in um, search, like I'm doing, or knowledge exchange, what are the other companies that have done something similar five years ago, seven years ago, three years ago? Find those employees, go ask them for a cup of coffee, and then see if you can get them to introduce you to the VC. The, v, the best way to get introduced to a VC is by a CEO who they've invested in already. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's that that's right there the best one. The next best one is a lawyer, a head a recruiter, an accountant, one of those service people. So if you get yourself hooked up with a good VC, a good law firm, uh, they can do introductions if they believe in your product. That's not a bad idea either. And you don't necessarily have to pay the law firm to start working on your stuff. If you've got a track record, uh, if you have a great idea, some traction, they might actually. Um, uh, work with you on contingency on raising money, but maybe maybe not if you haven't done too much stuff yet. Uh, what do you think? You know, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, definitely put down the phone, Chris. You shouldn't be calling, cold calling people. I don't think that works. But you should have a short email that sort of describes the uh, yes the the business, what it is, and you know, to the point. 
Um, you shouldn't really be super secretive. I know, like, you know, I've invested in a number of companies, and when people come to me and say, sign an NDA for me, that's a non starter. Right. Uh, first of all, I find that that's just not done. It's offensive, one. it's weird, it means you're Yeah, and it just, like, you know, opens you up. And, and what I always find is none of these ideas are. So brilliant. Yeah, they never are. I mean, the first thing you said with your new idea was, like, this is a very basic idea. Yeah. And, and, but your last idea, very basic idea. idea. It, right. I mean, was it some intellectual property comparing pricing? If people can, like you said, been comparing, comparing, comparing prices forever. Right. And so, really, and which is true, and all these businesses, yeah. you know, whether it's yours, I mean, you didn't invent search, but no. you said, well, here's another way to do it slightly better. Right. And so, you know, why don't we put, you know, human brain behind it? And sure. so that was the idea. So it's it's not, you know, evolution. It's evolutionary, not revolutionary. Right. And so. So usually you know, there's really no need for that, that paranoia. So I would say you have to open up, you have to be completely open, uh, you know, none of this dancing back and forth that, you know, I'm going to keep it yeah. a secret. That doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, if you're asking for money, then it's your obligation to tell them, like, here's how I would spend it, here's exactly what Right. Work. And I think your, your, your ideas of how to network is great. The other one is something that I know you've done and a number of other people like, uh, like Jason Nazar does of DocStock. Yeah which is that he has these networking events and a lot of people show up there, either sure. speakers or whatever. That's also a good place to have a number of people have coordinated me and, and those yeah, kind sure. of things. And so that works also. I don't know what area you live in, Chris, but that could be another opportunity. Yeah, networking events are, are good. Where do you live? I live in Michigan, Boomtown. Yeah, you got to get out of Michigan. Yeah, it's not going to happen in Michigan. <laughs> that's for sure. You got you to move to the Valley if you want to make this happen in the Internet space or Boston, New York, L.A., Seattle, Austin, it's a, it's a short list of places you're going to get some traction. Um, mm -hmm. Another great thing to do is to have a blog and a social media presence, a Twitter account, a Facebook account, that is centered around the vertical you're in. So if you're in wireless and you're doing iPhone applications, having a blog about your favorite iPhone applications and talking credibly about them, reviewing them, showing you're smart with it, sort of demonstrating you're not a crazy person because if you have a nice looking blog, that's been around for a while, mm -hmm. and you comment on other people's right. like-minded blogs, the fear of you being a crazy person goes way down. Uh, and, and that's really what you're trying to do is like, when, you, when people look at investments, it's like, okay, there's a third of people who are crazy that I would actually never want to even talk to. There's a third of people who are losers in the middle who I'll talk to, but I would never invest in. And then there's like the top third who are people who are smart and who have it going on and who are intelligent and considered, and I would consider investing in them. And right now, when you start, you're in the bottom bucket, you're with the crazies, get yourself into the loser bucket, and then get yourself into the winner bucket. And you just, you know, depending on how you contact them and your social media presence, you know, the short email can include, here's my blog. Right. Boom. And if, I mean, you would look at somebody's blog, right? Yeah, I would. Yeah. And you read it and say, hey, well, this person's got some interesting ideas. Right. And I don't know how much more you, time you want to spend on this yeah. question, but I think another thing, Chris, is if I were you, um, I would try to raise from, uh, money from friends and family mm. and just get enough of the concept going because sure. everybody these days wants to see it off the ground. And, you know, it's very hard to get financing on just an idea, idea business yeah. plan. So yeah. people want to see it, you know, hey, show me some traction, show me the product a little bit. So. I would I would say that that's probably the best bet. I don't know if that's, if that's an opportunity for not or not, or if it's a possibility, but yeah. I think that's probably easier than that. You, you will spend a lot less time and effort on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, thanks for calling thanks in. Lot, guys. And uh, call us back in a month or two and tell us how it's going. All right. Thank you. Cheers now. You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from This Week in, click here.